there are benefits to circumcision, but let's go through those benefits. And again, I'm not saying this as a reason to not cir- like not get a circumcision yourself. If you want to be circumcised, that is your prerogative. You can absolutely do that. But I just want to go through these benefits because people promote this as a way to sort of convince others uh, into doing it um, to themselves or their children. And I don't take an issue with anyone doing it to themselves, but I do take issue with people doing it to children. So let's go ahead and walk through this, right? So protection against urinary tract infections. How how common are your are UTIs amongst people with penises? Oh, not very. Not very, right? No, not very. Not terribly common. And let's talk about. And I want to be quite clear here. We're talking about the Western world, and when we say that, we generally mean Western Europe, UK, US, yeah, yeah. Canada places like that yeah. basically places where most of the white people are right you know sure yeah the, the places that capitalism money all of all of that stuff you know like the Devel- developed economies developed economies yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, the ones that you know went to other places stole their stuff all, well, all that yeah, you know all that lovely stuff m- most importantly places with sand like places with sanitation clean water like a health service access to medication things like that oh yeah absolutely i'm just yeah. building up the reasons no, I why they got that yeah yeah no no yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> um so in places like that where you've got healthcare hygiene, uh, healthcare access to like you know um, products and uh, infrastructure and all of these other things that help with hygiene and all of all of that, how much of a benefit does this confer? Right, you know um, UTIs. I don't think I've ever had a UTI in my life. I'm one data point, yeah. but like you know, I mean, I don't think I've ever like and you know, I speak to you know, I, we, we we all chat with our friend and stuff. I don't think I've ever known a friend to have, um, like a, a male friend, to have a UTI, and for that to be a serious problem. Not to my knowledge, none of my friends, nor me. Every single person, pretty much every single person I know that does not have a penis, has had a UTI multiple yeah. times. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sure. Every single one I know, I think, yeah. multiple, multiple times. So like, we're 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 weighing that there. It's like, okay, is 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 it really worth um, circumcising uh, a child? To, to avoid UTIs, maybe not. Penile inflammation, again, how again? If it, if it, put it this way, if it was, if the benefits of circumcision were so great when it came to um, penile inflammation and uh, phimosis and paraphimosis, we would have evolved to not have foreskins. Not even that. <laughs> <laughs> the NHS would be saying do this like that would be a <laughs> yeah. recommended thing. Yeah. yeah. But when you look at these health services and and all of that, the recommendation is. Yeah, don't we want yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. and we, we've had we've had plenty of like i mean look one third of the world is circumcised do you really think that if there were so many benefits like put it this way if there were so many benefits to circumcision if one third of the world is circumcised we would imagine that the other two thirds of the of the of the world um and when i say of the world obviously i'm talking about people that can be circumcised not yeah. you know the entire population um one third one third of you know um the males in the world people with penises in the world are circumcised you don't think we would spot like a pretty serious difference between them and the other two thirds. Mm. Yes. Right. Yeah. But I feel like the the it seems rather not just I feel like it seems that the benefits that are conferred are kind of almost flattened out by are, are flattened out by you know hygiene, healthcare, yeah, yeah, all of that sort of stuff. Because as I mentioned, fifty a fifty percent uh, change in um, a fifty percent reduction in risk, I believe it is. Uh, for contracting HIV um, as a as a sort of cisgendered man who has uh, sex with a cisgendered woman, right? If you're if you're um, circumcised, if you if you're circumcised, you've got half the chance of getting HIV essentially, right? Just take that. Mm-hmm. The studies I've seen also look at it sort of. I don't think they've actually done them necessarily in the US, but they've kind of looked at it, and it's like if you take that fifty percent reduction in risk in and I've mentioned this already in the, somewhere like the US or the UK, you're changing from one to two percent. Or two to one percent. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's not it's not a massive reduction. And that's it's also really... an, on average. And so that doesn't. So like, if you're exactly. monogamous, you're fine. If you're probably. using condoms, you're fine. Yeah. yeah. If you, oh, I mean, especially think about it this way: if you're at increased risk for HIV in the UK, you can go to the, you can go to your GP. I'm pretty sure if you're at increased risk, you can go to your GP and say, "Hey, give me prep," and they'll do that. Yeah. yeah. Or not even your GP. I'm pretty sure you could go to um, a sexual clinic. health clinic. Yeah, yeah. And they'll do that. So. When you have access to, to these things, you don't need to, you have access to this as sort of the medical procedures or to the, you know, um, to the, uh, to the sort of uh, equipment that you need for hygiene. You don't necessarily need the surgical procedure. And again, 
that doesn't mean that circumcision is bad or yeah. wh- do it. That's perfectly fine. That's, Just you don't need to have this reasoning behind it. You know as I mean? far as we know, having an <laughs> uncircumcised penis is not a commonly stated risk factor for HIV. No, it's not like the NHS is going. You need Imagine. to take prep if you've yeah. got a foreskin. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> They're not delineating between uh, or differentiating. Sorry, between um, you know, men have sex with men with foreskins and without. Yeah, I mean, it's like yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. When we talk about it, it's interesting here because this paper that uh, says that's talking about scientific evidence dispels false claims about circumcision. That's the title of the paper. Um, they're talking about the false claims being against circumcision or against the benefits of circumcision, mm. and they said that the benefits include, um, you know, protection against inferior hygiene, which is just like, <laughs> which is so baffling to me because just wash. It, it's it's like. Okay, this is going to be an analogy that people might be upset with, but it's kind of like teaching your teaching young girls to fight rather than just teaching boys not to not to harass young girls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like you don't maybe maybe you don't need to send your daughter to karate classes and give her mace <laughs> and um, you know, keys and uh, and a whistle and all of that. You could just sit down your young boys and say, "Hey, here's how we respect other people." You know well, what I mean? Yeah, I mean, sort of. I mean, your individual young girl, can, yeah. you cannot ch- suddenly change the world for her. Yeah. And so you might want to send her to karate classes, possibly. But also... Uh, I mean, on a sort of more societal level, yeah. it's, 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 you're solving the problem more, e- you're sort of solving the problem more easily if you go to, like, you know, the actual root cause of it, yeah. rather than trying to yeah, of solve... Course. So you can't something really somebody is. like it's not yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah, not yeah, the yeah. government who's sending w- women to karate classes. It's like worried parents and friends. But it is. It but is also it is. Th- this website you're reading is is taught might be looking at this from a more sort of like um, sort of uh, broad societal perspective of like um, how could we reduce the risk of infections? No, 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 no. This is look this this article is entirely just about how good circumcision is. It's, what, as in, no, no, as in it's, it's, is it how so, good it is for you individually, or how good it is as a cultural practice? Uh, okay, hold on. Let me let me just quickly go back through this. Right, um, it's a response to a letter uh, that was opposing infant male circumcision. So we're kind of getting into the meat of this episode. So why don't we just hop right into it? I have no problem with circumcision. Right, mm-hmm. I'm not doing this episode because I don't want people to be circumcised. Mm-hmm. I have a, a very distinct problem with infant male circumcision. Yeah. Yes, uh, which as is, do I, by the way. Which is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> which is the, the taking of, uh, of uh, a young, like, of, a, of a baby boy uh, and, uh, circumcising, uh, and circumcising that boy. Like, th- this to me is an odd thing to do. It, 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 you know, it, in, in the best case, it's an odd thing to do. I understand if it's part of your religious practice and all of that sort of stuff, and that's fine, except it isn't. Because you really, realistically, I think you should probably be waiting until someone is old enough to consent. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, and, and that does. And bear in mind, this is not me going out against uh, Jewish people or Muslims. I also take issue with uh, Catholics, for example, uh, bringing kids into into the church. You know, with communion and all of that stuff at the age of like sort of five and whatnot. Like I, I'm against that too. So do not think that this is some prejudice I have against um, sort of Judaism or Islam or even religion in general. It's not. This is a bodily autonomy issue for me. I oppose this in, to the same degree that I oppose uh, corrective. And for anyone listening, I'm saying that with the most dripping sense of sarcasm I can. Corrective surgery on intersex baby, on intersex children. Like, I, I oppose basically all of that, you know? And this this paper that I'm talking about, Luke, it doesn't. It doesn't sort of. Uh, it's not talking about like you know. Here's the here's the broad uh, the, the the broad benefits of this um, across. It's saying, hey, you said that infant male circumcision has no benefits. Here are the benefits of circumcision. And if you're trying to pull the benefits of circumcision um, as and trying to say, well, here's why we should, um, here's why we should, you know, um, perform unnecessary surgery on infant children who cannot consent. You need to have a pretty good reason to back it up, and if your reason is, well, if if he doesn't clean himself, you'll be better off. It's not. Do you know what I mean, it's it, it doesn't really hold water for me. Teach him to clean himself. Teach him to clean himself. So easy. Instead of instead of you know instead of cutting off his foreskin for cleanliness, if that's your reasoning, teach him how to clean it. You know what I mean? And I I I guess like to be to be absolutely clear here, it's none of none of these issues are with circumcision itself. You know what I mean? Like I. 
I, that's why I, I could absolutely go into the, the complications that surround circumcision, and I'm happy to talk about the, ven- the benefits of circumcision, but ultimately, those are absolutely irrelevant to me. I, I just, I don't care whether they're, it's beneficial or, um, I don't care about the, benefic- the benefits or really the complications hugely, because the benefits are not so great that they override the fact that you're violating the bodily autonomy of a child. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's the main issue.